From a veteran with a 50-year career to a former pro wrestler to a few just getting their start, these are the Walking Dead actors we've lost over the years. According to the New York Times, Scott Wilson's breakout role was in the 1967 film In Cold Blood, based on the Truman Capote novel. From there, he went on to star in 80 films and television shows throughout his career. Wilson joined the cast of The Walking Dead in season two, where he played farmer Herschel Green, who led the group of survivors take refuge on his farm. The character, with his strong moral compass, was a welcome addition to the show and a good foil for Rick Grimes. Herschel survived until halfway through the fourth season when he became a victim of the sadistic governor. Wilson did film a guest appearance, which aired in season nine after his real-life death in October 2018. He died of cancer at the age of 76, but his last scenes provided a fitting tribute to both the man and the character. I know it's been hard. It is. Russell Camagus was no stranger to the industry when he was cast in his very brief role in The Walking Dead. He has made many appearances in films, such as The Lucky One and the 2004 version of The Punisher, and shows such as The Vampire Diaries. Unfortunately, his career was cut short. He was in a third-season episode of The Walking Dead, playing a hitchhiker. When Rick, Carl, and Michonne drive to retrieve more weapons, they pass a man played by Comagus on the road. They speed past him despite his pleas that they stop. This scene demonstrates that the survivor group couldn't risk taking on anyone new. The promising actor died at the age of 45 in 2017 when, according to news station WTOC, he and another person were killed in a rollover car accident. Dango Nguyen was just getting started in his acting career when he appeared on The Walking Dead. With two TV episodes and one film to his credit, Nguyen appeared in seven episodes of the third season of The Walking Dead. Acting was his third career after professional wrestling and almost 20 years as a firefighter. Athens Clark County Fire and Emergency Services announced his death on its Facebook page. Nguyen died at age 48 from cancer in 2019. He played a bodyguard of the governor and clashed with Rick's group in Woodbury. His experience led him to parts in The Originals and MacGyver, and he also completed stunts in several films and movies, including Mile 22, NCIS New Orleans, and Insatiable. The Walking Dead was Rodney M. Hall's first ever credit, according to IMDb. Hall appeared in the second episode of the first season of The Walking Dead as a walker. The episode featured Rick and Glenn slathering guts all over themselves to get through a crowd of walkers, Hall included. It is difficult to pick him out of this large undead crowd, but he did complete a few other appearances before his death in 2021. Hall also had parts in Franklin and Bash, Drop Dead Diva, The Underlying, and Devil's Knot. Not much is known about his life between his last screen appearance in 2013 and his death at age 50 from an apparent drug overdose. His memorial announcement requested donations to drug and alcohol facilities. Moses J. Mosley was 31 at the time of his death. His roles were mostly uncredited before appearing on The Walking Dead, but one of them was for The Hunger Games Catching Fire. His real claim to fame came when he was in six episodes throughout the early seasons of The Walking Dead. Mosley played Mike, who was one of Michonne's jawless pet zombies. I made it so they couldn't bite, couldn't scratch. I tied chains around their necks. It was insane. After the show, he appeared in guest roles on several other shows. He died from a gunshot wound to the head in January 2022. According to Today, his autopsy was not conclusive. This makes his manner of death still unconfirmed, even though he was found in his car with the gun in his lap. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please dial or text 988 to speak with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can also seek help by visiting 988lifeline.org.